Want to talk to you guys today about the brand new Milwaukee M18 fuel hacksaw. Milwaukee just released it. It's brand spanking new. They designed this as a one-handed saw and it has sweeping improvements old version that was out already. Milwaukee basically is focusing this new hacksaw to its core users, plumbers, electrical, and even Rescon residential remodeling guys. It weighs 5.57 pounds, compact, lightweight. Powered off the M18 battery platform, this saw has five features that differentiate it as a new tool and, and basically make it worth looking at. It has, a, it has a brushless motor, it has a seven, eight inch blade stroke, it has a, a brand new designed heavy duty gearbox and dual bevel counterbalancing gears, a pivoting shoe plate, and they've made the, uh, uh, increase the durability of the saw by uh, preventing water or, or allowing for water to get in and get out. Let's talk about the motor. A brushless motor has a contact free operation which relates to no wearable parts. Without contact resistance, a brushless motor runs cooler, lasts longer before servicing, and is clearly more efficient. More run time of the battery and all that. Basically, a brushless motor communicates directly with the tool windings and adjusts the motor power to the cutting application. If there's less resistance, the motor draws less power, which extends the battery life of the tool and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Blade stroke. The Milwaukee Hacksaw has a 7 8 inch blade stroke compared to the 5 8 inch blade stroke. Why a 7 8 stroke? Well, the longer and more aggressive a stroke, the more material it's going to be removed. And every time that blade advances and retracts, you're going to get more, more cut out of it. It also allows the tool to use more of the blade, the blade teeth, resulting in a faster wood cutting saw. Um, the gear, the redesigned gearing and stuff, it has a uh, gearbox with a dual bevel counterbalance gears. That plays big into the tool's durability and its brand new design. Milwaukee recognized that there was a gap between the M12 Hacksaw and their Sawzall. So to bridge this gap, they designed a newer, heavy dutier gear, beefed up gearbox with interior synchronized gear mechanisms. This gearbox is where all the magic happens. It makes the saw cut more powerful and faster. Um, inside that gearbox is a dual counterbalance gears. It's propelled by a drive spindle via a scotch yoke mechanism. The result of this new gear drive is a shaft design that has, uh, that gives the tool less reduced vibration and less blade chatter. Reducing blade chatter is going to produce a much better cut on rounded material such as pipe and plumbers are going to love that. The shoe plate. The, the pivoting shoe plate was a feature clearly came from the reciprocating saw and one that results in a much smoother cut from start to finish. Being able to keep that contact on the, on the material that you're cutting, it's going to result in a safer, more efficient cut. And lastly, we talk about the increased durability to water. Many earlier versions will fail due to long-term exposure, long-term. Dust and water over time create internal sludge, rust, uh, and it can ne negatively affect the tool's electronics, it can rust components, gum up the gearbox, which is going to bind the spindle mechanism, all that. Milwaukee increased the durability of this water ingress by potting of the electronics and adding um, a rubber seal around the spindle where the blade is. They also, <clears throat> they recognize that water is going to enter the tool regardless. And especially if you're cutting pipes with that are slightly charged water lines or something. So they designed a way to get the water out of the tool. They achieved this by adding a weep hole under the gearbox at the bottom of the tool and also the vent holes will allow water to get out as well. By the way, potting is a process that is, uh, of filling the electronics with a solid or a gelatin-like compound and that's going to help resist shock, vibration and moisture. As far as using this saw, we used it um, to cut out and remove a furnace and a whole bunch of water lines, water here on this remodeling project we're doing. We cut a whole, we cut out a whole bunch of, of piping, framing. Um, some of the pipes were slightly charged with water and the tool, the tool did get wet. It's designed to handle water ingress over time. So we didn't test this by fully immersing the tool into uh, water for durability. It's just not designed to do that. Um, the blade collet. The blade collet is spring-loaded. It's a quarter turn, um, two-handed operation. It's not, there's nothing really to write home about. Um, this tool definitely has more power than its predecessor, and it clearly has less vibration. The trigger is variable speed. 
which is nice for that slow start on pipe and plunge cutting, and we like that. Um, there, uh, as far as improvement, the Hacksaw has an LED light under the blade, and I feel like that manufacturers add LED lights just to add LED lights. This LED light does provide lighting at the beginning of the cut really well, but once you get into the cut, it's a weird shadow. You can see the shoe plate, the blade. I think Milwaukee could add a second light on top of the blade, uh, similar to like the DeWalt 3 light LED system. It would be great. It would really light that up nicely. This saw is going to sell for $249 as a kit and $149 as a bare tool. And guys, if you are looking for a one-handed saw with more power, better durability, the new M18 Hacksaw will not disappoint. For remodelers, it's the absolute perfect complement to your reciprocating saw. For electricians and plumbers, it's possibly the only saw you'll need. Nah, forget that. The more the better. Get another saw. Uh, I'm Rob Robillard. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Just click that subscribe button below. To, if you want to read the full review, it's on toolboxbuzz.com. And we'll see you next time. Take care.